Hey everybody, welcome. So today we're going to show you guys how to properly mount up our Shore Course F11 wheels onto our Shore Course trencher tires. Now these steps that we're about to show you guys apply to our entire line of Shore Course beadlock wheels and tires. So in order to do that, we're going to use a couple of tools. One is our 2.0 hex tip driver on our power tool, as well as our 2.0 hex hand wrench. Okay, so we're going to start off by removing the product from the bags first. So first we're going to remove the wheels and I'll show you guys what comes in the package itself. So you have your two wheels along with your hardware and in the tire bag we're going to remove the two tires. So what you're going to have to do first is remove the two screws that are holding the ring right now. So by removing that then you'll separate the three pieces that go together with the tire to form the whole package. So we'll start off by removing the two screws first. We'll use our power drill for this one. As you can see, by removing the two screws, you can take the ring off and slide the wheel itself off of the insert that's gonna go inside the tire. So we'll go on to the next one, do the same thing. So you see now you have two rings, two wheels, and the two inserts ready to mount up. Next, we'll open up the package that comes with the extra hardware that we need to complete the uh, ring mounting. So here it is all laid out for you. You have your hardware, the two rings, the two wheels, and the two inserts. We'll move on into mounting up the, uh, the wheels onto the tires. So the first thing you wanna do is when you get the tire out, is just make sure that the foam is seated properly inside the tire itself just by running the bead over the foam lip. That way it's all nice and even on the back side as well as the front side too. Just make sure that the foam is seated properly. It just makes it a whole lot easier to mount up the, uh, the insert. So once you have that all set, go ahead and grab your insert and insert, and insert it through the back of the tire. Just pull it over. Once you get to this point, as you can see on the back of the insert, there's these little spikes coming out of here. What these are gonna do, they're gonna grip onto the back of the bead of the tire itself once you slide the insert in there. So we're gonna go ahead and start pulling the back of the tire lip over the insert, little by little. So just go work your way around the tire in a small section at a time and pull it over the lip itself. Go ahead and push it down. That way it sits properly over the back of the uh, insert lip. Now we're gonna move on to the front. As you can see here, the front part is not properly set on the lip yet. So what you wanna do is make sure that you have no bulges like this when you're assembling it. Because if you do, then that means that the uh, foam is not set it properly. So in order to work this out, all you have to do is just push it in little by little and you can hear it when it sets in onto the insert. So now as you can see it's all even going around the, uh, the front face of the tire itself which means it's properly set on the insert. So the next step is turn it back around you grab your wheel and insert it through the back of the tire. So what this is going to do is this is going to capture the back of the wheel onto the back of the uh, tire so you can slide it in little by little and you can hear it when the uh, tire itself comes through the front of the insert. So you can see the back of the insert is now set up against the back of the tire. Now turn it around and then what you want to do now is push the front bead of the tire down in, in between the insert and the wheel itself. So you can work it around little by little with your thumb until it's all the way in. So now you have it wedged in between the tire and the uh, insert itself. So once you have that all set up, go ahead and grab your ring, align the holes with the ring and with the tire, or the wheel itself. So, 
set it in there. So what we're gonna do is we're only gonna start with two screws. Start with the first one up on top. And just go in about a quarter way. Then we'll start with the other one directly across from the one that you just worked in. So as you can see, you've already started setting up your ring. So it starts pulling that insert forward towards the front of the tire. And what that does, that compresses the whole unit together and that captures your rear bead area. So once you have these set up about a quarter way in, then we can start putting on the, uh, the other screws. So for these, we're gonna go ahead and use our, our uh, power drill for it. Work your way around the ring in a cross pattern so you get a nice uh, even uh, pull from the, um, the insert itself and then it, it'll pull the whole unit together evenly. So then go ahead and grab your, uh, your handheld driver and just give them a little bit of a little extra uh, turns here just to make sure it's set all the way down. As you can see in the front of the face, it's all even going all the way around. When you turn the tire around and you look at the back of the tire, same thing. So now the bead is completely captured by the three-piece wheel. So as you can see, mounting the tire onto the bead lock wheel is really not that difficult. Just take your time as you're assembling the whole unit, making sure that the beads are properly lined up before you tighten all the screws. So for more how-tos, check out ProLineRacing.com. Thanks.